there's quite a bit to consider when I'm really thinking about going to the cloud and, and starting to formulate that cloud strategy. There's a lot of considerations when you think about just going to the cloud. You know, first is the business justification. You have to look at answering the question, what problem am I trying to solve? Am I just going to the cloud because I need a cloud checkbox? Am I looking for greater business agility? Is there cost savings? Am I looking to perhaps consolidate data centers? I have to take a look at that. You know, the second thing is, is thinking about the strategy. You know, what is the, is there a long-term relationship I'm looking for with cloud providers? Or am I really thinking about this in terms of putting out a particular tactical use case? You know, maybe there's a marketing initiative that I need to fund or kick off and, and, and leveraging cloud resources is, is the most pragmatic way to do it. Finally, though, when we think about management, you have to be really careful here. You know, there's lots of vendors out there that are going to be pushing you to have this single pane of glass for all things cloud management. We have never had a single pane of glass in the history of enterprise IT. And in the public cloud, cloud providers are shipping new features sometimes daily or weekly. So we can't keep up with all of this different innovation across multiple clouds and do it central for everything. Don't listen to advice that's trying to get you to centralize all things cloud because you're just going to wind up quickly out of date. And odds are, if you're investing in those types of customized solutions, it might take you might cost you seven or eight figures in just a professional services investment just to get that solution off the ground. Every time you want to maintain it, uh, you're going to have to do those things as well. Finally, you know, being able to really embrace hybrid cloud means building your own organic skill sets. So I need to get started today to do some of these things. You want to invest in your on-premises solutions that are software defined, that can be quickly updated and maintained. And it, this can also help you to build skill sets so that when I make an investment in building a new application or service, no matter where I run that application, that investment is being preserved. I'm not using a cloud provider's proprietary intellectual property in building that service offering. And because I'm not doing so, if I want to pack up and move, I can. It also gives me control of the maintenance schedule as well, so I can, I can do maintenance uh, in terms of an application stack on my own terms.